Western Mass News is your election authority. More charred mail has been found in Boston, close to where police say a man set fire to a ballot drop-off box this weekend. Boston police haven't yet confirmed whether the mailbox fire was related to the one set by 39-year-old Worldly Armand on Sunday. Armand making his first court appearance today. Both the defense and prosecution arguing he's not mentally sound and that they don't believe he's plotting anything against democracy. Now, Secretary of the Commonwealth William Galvin is directing all cities and towns across the state to enhance security as the election draws closer. And Western Mass News reporter Lindsey Kane is getting answers on what's being done in Springfield. Unfortunately, there's always a possibility that we can have someone that might want to tamper with the ballot box. Police have arrested 39-year-old Worldly Amon for allegedly setting a Boston ballot box on fire. While officials say 87 ballots were intact, between 5 and 10 were so badly damaged they couldn't be read. Congressman Richard Neal tells Western Mass News the incident is distressing. So I think that taking the necessary steps to preclude what happened yesterday in Boston should be all of our, on all of our minds. That's why Secretary of the Commonwealth William Galvin is urging election officials in all cities and towns across the state to step up security. There are security cameras that monitor that ballot box 24-7 and we can have kind of instant access to the tape if we need to see if anything you know, funny's going on with it. Gladys Oyola Lopez, the election commissioner for the city of Springfield, says that her staff empties the ballot box every two hours. But she says the city is taking further steps to make sure every vote is counted, including closing the ballot box this Saturday. They're expecting possibly because it is Halloween, it is a Saturday, and because of the election that, you know, kind of that might be an issue. And so they're suggesting that we either have an armed guard out watching the ballot box that day or to close it up and secure it so that no one can put a ballot in, but that also that nothing can get damaged as well. Why Oyola Lopez says residents should have confidence in the city's security measures, she says voters still have options for how they want to cast their ballots. They can hand walk them into City Hall. They can actually drop them off at our early voting sites too, which people have been taking advantage of that option. In Springfield, Lindsey Kane, Western Mass News.